my name is Mr. Joseph Bergen. I am from Crab Hill Sandy Point. I am a former captain or leader of the Shagwe Dandies Moko Jumbies. I would have um, participated in the group for about roughly 10 years, leading up to some injury I sustained. What really inspired me is some friends. I used to hang with some friends whose dad-in-law was basically where I know Moko Jumbe might have evolved locally in the name of um, Peter Walters, the Stilt Walkers, or the Moko Jumbies originated from West Africa. If you want to bring it home locally, our ancestors felt that after our four parents had passed on, they would roam the heart of the Moko tree. There's a lot of voodoo ties to Moko Jumbi as well. Medicine and practition. The costume to give you a depiction of exactly how a, a spirit or jumbi would look. So from the Moko tree to the jumbi, the, 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 the tree and itself to the, 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 um, the dead would have a, a representation of what your ancestor would have looked like coming back from the afterlife. And there you have the Moko Jumbi. These lessons have, been, have not been passed on as the way they should, so they could be always, always be a part of our culture. So I think we need to do a lot more work in that department. We can't wait till October, September to get these workshops going. Right after Carnival done, we should hit the ground running, visiting the schools, getting um, our culture. Preservation for the culture is very important and, and, and constant and robust preservation is vital.